As you must have heard people say, Rome wasn't built in a day. The same can be said for the empires of real estate perseverance and strategic investments. Real estate moguls have been able to create vast empires by identifying opportunities, taking calculated risks, and leveraging their knowledge and resources to build long-term wealth. These individuals have not only made fortunes for themselves but have also created employment opportunities, driven economic growth, and shaped the skylines of cities across the world. In today's video, we will delve deeper into the world of real estate moguls and explore how they built their empires. We will examine the key strategies they employed, the risks they took, and the lessons they learned along the way. So buckle up and get ready to discover the fascinating world of real estate moguls and their rise to the top. Barbara Corcoran Barbara Corcoran is a successful American businesswoman, investor, speaker, author, and television personality. She is best known for her role as a shark investor on the popular television show Shark Tank. However, before she became a TV star, Corcoran made her fortune in the real estate industry. Corcoran grew up in a large family in Edgewater, New Jersey. Her father was a printing press foreman and her mother was a housewife. Corcoran struggled in school due to her undiagnosed dyslexia, but she learned to compensate for her learning disability by developing her verbal skills and her ability to sell. After graduating from college in 1971, Corcoran worked as a teacher for a short time. However, she soon realized that teaching was not her true passion. Instead, she wanted to start her own business. She borrowed $1,000 from her then-boyfriend and together they started a real estate company called the Corcoran Group. The Corcoran Group began as a small brokerage firm, with Corcoran and her boyfriend as the only employees. They rented a small office space in New York City and worked hard to build their business. Corcoran quickly realized that in order to succeed in the real estate industry, she needed to differentiate herself from the competition. She did this by developing a unique marketing strategy that focused on the emotional aspects of buying and selling real estate. Corcoran's marketing strategy included using bright colors, catchy slogans, and memorable logos to help potential clients remember her company. She also started hosting open houses that were more like parties than traditional real estate events. By creating a fun and welcoming atmosphere, Corcoran was able to attract a large number of potential buyers. As the Corcoran group grew, Corcoran continued to innovate and expand her business. She hired more employees, opened new offices, and started offering additional services such as property management and mortgage brokerage. She also began investing in real estate herself, buying and renovating properties in New York City. Corcoran's real estate investments proved to be very profitable and she used the profit to reinvest in her business. She continued to expand the Corcoran Group and eventually sold it to NRT LLC, a subsidiary of Realogy Holdings Corp, for $66 million in 2001. Today, Corcoran is a successful investor, speaker, and television personality. She is a regular on Shark Tank where she invests in innovative startups and helps them grow their businesses. She also runs Barbara Corcoran Venture Partners, a venture capital firm that invests in early-stage companies. Fred Trump Fred Trump was an American real estate developer and businessman who has built a real estate empire from scratch. He is best known as the father of former President Donald Trump and for his extensive real estate holdings in New York City. In this article, we will explore how Fred Trump built his real estate portfolio from scratch. Fred Trump was born in New York City in 1905 to German immigrants. His father, Frederick Trump, was a successful real estate developer and entrepreneur who owned hotels and apartment buildings in the Pacific Northwest. Fred grew up watching his father build his business and learn the ins and outs of the real estate industry from a young age. After graduating from high school, Fred went to work for his father's company. However, he soon realized that he wanted to strike out on his own and build his own real estate portfolio. In 1927, he started his own company, Elizabeth Trump and Son, which he named after his mother. At first, Elizabeth Trump and Son focused on building and managing apartment buildings in the outer boroughs of New York City. However, Fred quickly realized that the real money was in building and managing properties in Manhattan. He began buying up parcels of land in Manhattan and developing high-end apartment buildings and office towers. One of Fred's early successes was his development of the Beach Haven Apartments in Brooklyn. 
This was a large apartment complex with over 1,000 units that Fred built during the Great Depression. The project was a huge success and it helped establish Fred as a major player in the New York City real estate market. In the 1950s and 1960s, Fred continued to expand his real estate empire by building high-tech apartment buildings, office towers, and shopping centers. He was known for his attention to detail and his ability to manage construction projects efficiently. He also developed a reputation as a tough negotiator who always got the best deal for his properties. Jorge Perez Jorge Perez is another well-known real estate developer and entrepreneur who has built a successful portfolio of properties in the United States and Latin America. He is the founder and chairman of the Related Group, which is one of the largest real estate development companies in the United States. Perez was born in Argentina in 1949 and moved to the United States with his family in the 1960s. He attended the University of Michigan and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics and a Master of Business Administration degree from the University of Illinois. After completing his education, Paris worked in investment banking and real estate development in the late 1970s. He then decided to start his own real estate development company in Miami in 1979, which eventually became the Related Group. In the early days of his career, Paris faced a number of challenges in building his real estate portfolio. He started out by developing affordable housing projects for low-income families in Miami, which was a relatively untapped market at the time. To finance his projects, Paris had to be creative and resourceful. He used a combination of private equity, bank financing, and government subsidies to fund his developments. He also partnered with investors and other developers to share the risks and rewards of his projects. One of Paris' early breakthroughs came in the mid-1980s, when he partnered with another developer to acquire a large parcel of land in downtown Miami. They developed the land into a mixed-use project called Brickell City Center, which included residential, office, retail, and hotel components. The project was a major success and helped establish Paris' reputation as a developer of large-scale mixed-use projects. Over the years, Paris continued to focus on developing high-quality mixed-use projects in key urban markets throughout the United States and Latin America. He also expanded into other areas of real estate such as luxury condominiums, rental apartments, and hotels. Today, the Related Group is one of the largest and most successful real estate development companies in the United States. It has developed more than 100,000 units of housing with a combined value of over $50 billion. Paris' legacy as a pioneering developer and entrepreneur in the real estate industry is a testament to his vision, hard work, and perseverance. Richard Branson Richard Branson is a well-known entrepreneur who is best known for his success in the aviation, music, and telecommunications industries. However, he has also had success in real estate, having built a significant portfolio of properties over the years. Branson was born in England in 1950 and dropped out of school at the age of 16 to start his first business, a magazine called Student. He then went on to start a mail-order record business, which eventually became Virgin Records, one of the largest music labels in the world. In the 1990s, Branson began to diversify his business interests and ventured into real estate development. He saw an opportunity to leverage the Virgin brand and its reputations for quality and innovation to create a unique real estate experience for customers. Branson's first foray into real estate was in the early 1990s where he purchased a private island in the British Virgin Islands. He developed the island into a luxury resort called Necker Island which became a popular destination for celebrities and high net worth individuals. Following the success of Necker Island, Branson began to acquire and develop other properties around the world. He focused on creating unique, high-end properties and offered a one-of-a-kind experience for customers. One of Branson's most notable real estate projects is the Virgin Limited Edition Collection, which includes a number of luxury properties around the world. These properties include a safari lodge in South Africa, a chalet in the Swiss Alps, and a private island retreat in Australia. To finance his real estate projects, Branson has used a variety of funding sources, including private investors and bank financing. 
he has also been able to leverage the Virgin brand and its reputation to attract customers and investors to his properties. Branson's success in real estate can be attributed to several key factors. First, he has a strong vision and a commitment to creating unique, high-quality properties that stand out in the market. Second, he has a knack for identifying and capitalizing on market trends and opportunities. Third, he has a strong network of investors and partners who trust him and are willing to invest in his projects. Today, Branson's real estate portfolio is worth billions of dollars and includes some of the most unique and luxurious properties in the world. His success in real estate is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit, vision, and ability to create innovative and successful businesses in a variety of industries. Alright guys, that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching this, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more.